guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is over this look that I created it's kind of a blue goldeny halo eye and I'm using the master palette by Mario I love this palette. The pigmentation is incredible. I have the other palettes like the self-made palette and um, the modern renaissance one and this one and the modern renaissance one. The formulas are so different. It's so much more pigmented. It's so much more blendable and creamy and just overall I love this palette so I created this look with it. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how I get this look please keep watching. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Just going to put some on. I'm just going to dab it out with my fingers. And I'm just going to set it with some of the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. For my transition color, I'm going to go in with Lula, which is this taupey ash brown. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. Holy crap, it's so pigmented. Oh. And by the way, this is my first time using this palette, and it is so pigmented. Now I'm just going to blend out the edges with a fluffier brush. And this is actually the brush that comes with the palette. It has a more dense end for like packing on shadow and then the other side's really good for blending. Or actually if you have like bigger lids, this would be like a really good like color for like the crease too. I think I'm going to go ahead and deepen up my crease with the color Violetta. 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 It's this deep brown shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease too, but lower down. And I'm also using the Morphe E28 brush for this. I'm going to blend it all out again with the Anastasia fluffy brush. I think I'm going to do kind of a halo-y eye. I'm going to go in with Claudia, this really pretty shimmery blue color on the corner. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M433. And I'm just going to place this on the inner and outer corners of my eye for that halo effect. These colors are so pigmented, it's crazy. And you can see like I'm just connecting the outer and inner parts at the top where my crease is. I'm going to add a little bit more of that deep brown shade, um, Violetta, just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to blend that out with the first color that we use. And I'm actually going to bring the blue a, li a little further up at the top and blend it in with the deep brown color that we used. For the center of my lids, I'm going to go in with this gold color, Fifth Avenue. And I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild brush. It doesn't have like a name or anything. The color is so pretty. And I'm actually going to just layer the color Hollywood in this corner right here 
the more bone champagne -y shimmer color. I'm going to layer it right on top of Fifth Avenue. And then I'm also going to use that color Hollywood on my brow bone. I'm going to reapply the blue just to fix up any mistakes that I made with the gold and just bring out the blue a little bit more. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and my lashes real quick and I'll be right back. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really like how this actually turned out because when I sat down to film I knew I wanted to film something with this palette but I had no idea what kind of look I was going for and I just kind of winged it but I really like it and I hope you guys did too if you did give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye